Hi, this is Lynn from thegolfcartmafia.com. Today we're going to be showing you how to apply your fresh new decal to your golf cart. Stay tuned. So now we're going to show you the recommended tools that we use when installing decals. So some of the supplies that you're going to need are a lint-free microfiber towel, some alcohol swabs or any alcohol with towels, paper towels. You're going to need a squeegee or a library card, debit card, anything that you can find in your wallet. You're going to want soapy water or you can also use Windex. Now that we have all of our supplies together in our decal, we're going to wipe clean your surface area that you're going to be installing your decal on. So we've done a pretty good wipe up already, but we're just going to make sure that it's nice and clean by using the alcohol pads or your alcohol with your paper towel. So I'm just going to go over this area really good. We're going to put it right here on the top. Make sure it's all nice and clean. We're going to let that dry. All right. So once that's nice and dry, we're going to actually take our Windex or our soap solution and you're going to lightly mist the area. You don't want it saturated. We just want it to have enough water on there so that your decal will go on fluid. Now let's prepare our decal for application. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip your decal face down on a hard surface. And then you're going to pull back the back paper away from the decal, making sure that no vinyl, it's no part of the vinyl or no decal parts are coming up. If that does happen, so see how this piece is coming up? You're gonna wanna fold that, excuse me, fold that down and push it back in place. And you're gonna keep doing that until your whole backing is completely pulled off of your decal. Like so. Okay, so now that our decal is nice and prepared, we've got the paper backing off, we're going to go to our misted section and we're just gonna lay it down where we want it to sit. Now the good thing about missing it is it allows you to pull it off if you did not put it in the proper spot. So we're just going to place it right about there, ensuring that it's nice and straight and that that is where you want it. So it looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to grab my squeegee, my library card, whatever you're using, and I'm going to push all of that water out from behind that decal. So this is where your towel is going to come in place again and you're just gonna wipe all that water away and you're gonna continue to do so until you see no more water coming out from behind that decal. Okay. And this application will ensure that there's no bubbles behind your decal when you start to peel it off, the, when you start to peel the tape off. Okay. So I'm actually gonna start with this top piece of tape here. If you have a much larger decal, you will see uh, layers of tape. You always wanna start with the top layer of your tape. This ensures no ripping um, and that you're not getting anything kinda hung up. You wanna pull the tape one piece at a time. So now we're gonna pull it, we're almost gonna pull it flat against itself. And you're really gonna wanna take your time with this. If you see any of the decal coming up, just take that squeegee and just kind of push it back down, making sure it's nice and smooth. And you're just gonna pull it all the way. Nice and slow. And if you see that it's still wet, that is totally fine. We're actually going to let this dry for about 15 minutes before we take it out for a spin. Our application, you want to gently wipe it dry and just let it sit for about 15 minutes. Now that you've got your decal nice and installed, just sit back and enjoy your ride and watch all your neighbors check out all your cool decals and please refer them to the Golf Cart Mafia. We hope that you enjoyed the instruction video and check us out at thegolfcartmafia.com.